Hi everyone, for today I'm going to discuss the three types of media. Well, actually this is the elaboration of your lesson 2, specifically media literacy. On the latter part, I'm going to discuss and provide application of the three theories on media and information. Don't worry, I'm just going to simplify this video since I know that every one of you are already media literate. So let's just have some recall. We have three types of media. We have print, broadcast, and new media, or what we call the internet. Parallel to this, we also have three functions of media, such as to inform, to educate, and last, to entertain. Under print media, we have book or books. It can be fiction or non-fiction. When you say fictional, it's more of the imaginative or creative writing. When you say non-fiction, it's the opposite. It should be based on factual data or factual events. So you need to be information literate. So before, we have parchment paper and quill. Examples of this are your Noli Ni Tangere, El Filibusterismo, and Mi Ultimo Adios of Dr. Jose Rizal. But now, texts are included and they are using computer, iPod, tablet, smartphones, etc. Under books, we have Almanac. It is published every year because this is the annual calendar containing important dates and statistical information such as astronomical data and tide tables. While the dictionary, we use this to look for the definition, etymology, pronunciation, an example of which are your Merriam Webster and Oxford Dictionary. Again, do not be confused. I assume that you're already media literate. In dictionary, you check for the definition, etymology, and proper pronunciation. Now, the moment you want to look for the synonym or antonym, that is the time you use thesaurus. Atlas provides us the geographic features, political boundaries, climatic, social, and economical statistics of a specific area. Same with your almanac. This is published every year for us to be updated and not outdated. Second type of print media is what we call newspaper. There are different sections, news, business, lifestyle, etc. It is published on a daily or a weekly basis. Example of this is your Manila Bulletin, Philippine Daily Inquirer, Beacon Mail, etc. Under two types of newspaper, we have broadsheet and tabloid. When you say broadsheet, it caters class A and B. Those are your working class. Therefore, broadsheet contains formal news and in-depth analysis of issues, example of which are your Philippine Daily Inquirer, Manila Bulletin, Business Mirror, Business World. While for tabloid, it caters the CDE, the layman, the grassroots, the marginalized sectors because it contains condensed news, entertainment articles, and informal language. Difference first of the newspaper and magazine in terms of the aesthetic, newspaper is your black and white or gray, or magazine is your colored print media. Difference between the content, newspaper, 80% to inform and educate. Magazine, it's different. When you say magazine, 90% is to entertain, 10% is to inform and educate. Journal, a newspaper or magazine that deals with a particular subject or professional activity. For you to publish a journal, you need to acknowledge first the existence of your target market. For example, here, medical journals, because you acknowledge the fact that there are nursing or doctors who will read this at their convenient time. Why publish photography in a nutshell? Because you acknowledge the fact that there are a lot of film or photo enthusiasts. Newsletter, publish weekly or monthly, bulletin issued periodically to members of the society or other organization. Example is our Create Bulawan, again acknowledging the target market. The Create Bulawan is our official newsletter in Ateneo Senior High School. The Pillars is our official newsletter in Ateneo Dinaga University. We also have our Gazette and we already defined what is a Gazette. Gazette is the official newspaper of the government and it contains the laws of the land. Under broadcast media, it is divided into three. You have your radio, television, and film. Radio and television, again, it is powered by your transistor. The reason why you have your transistor radio, transistor television, and it is under electronic age. That is the purpose of us discussing evolution of media. And your film was presented in the latter part of industrial age or the age of intellectual revolution. 
Let's start with the radio broadcast. Under radio, it is divided into two modulation. You have your AM and FM. Again, in terms of content, there's a difference because AM, 90% to inform and educate. 10% is for entertainment. You have your radio drama. For FM station, you have their 90% to entertain. 10% is to provide trivia or plug or updates, infomercial, etc. Difference between the two in terms of wave height is measured under amplitude modulation. Length of the wave is measured under frequency modulation. The reason why under AM you have their 540 to 1650 kilohertz, while in FM there's 88 and 108 megahertz. Still under broadcast media, we have our television and we have different television station. We have our controversial ABS-CBN or out of broadcasting system, running Cobb Broadcasting Network. We also have GMA, previously we called this Republic Broadcasting System, and abated their GMA, tagged as the Greater Manila Area, since the Greater Manila is discriminatory to different provinces, they elevated it to Global Media Art. Under film, it presents a distinction between television and movie. When you say TV classification ratings, you have your G or general, you have PG, parental guidance, you have SPG, strong parental guidance, and we also have movie classification ratings, we're rating G and PG, but instead of using SPG, we have R13, R16, and R18. R13, 13 years old and above, R16, 16 years old and above, R18, 18 years old and above. Under new media or internet, we discuss this in our information age, the fourth evolution of media. We have triple W or the World Wide Web. We have the hypertext, instant messaging. Remember your social media platform, your micro blogs, the difference between the web browser and the search engine, etc. So let's answer some questions. Raptor.com, new media, parchment paper, and quill. We have print media, specifically book. Bombo Radio, this is one of our favorite radio, specifically AM. Time Magazine, print media, specifically obviously magazine. World Wide Web, obviously this is under new media. CNN TV, broadcast, television. Republic Broadcasting System, this is your GMA, so this is under broadcast, television. Online Shopping, new media. G, P, G, R13, R16, R18. Answer is broadcast media, specifically film. Official Gazette of the Republic of the Philippines, print media, specifically Gazette. Let's now proceed to the three theories on media and information. This is just very easy. Let's simplify. From the word itself, naturalness, meaning to say there is a face-to-face -face conversation. You have here your Shannon Weaver and David Berlow's SMCR. As long as the sender and the receiver are on the same proximity or space. Either the feedback is correct or the feedback is wrong as long as there is the face-to-face -face communication. Like the literal face-to-face -face communication. The reason why you have naturalness. Second, media richness theory. This triggers your media literacy and technology literacy. As long as you utilize properly print, broadcast, and new media under media literacy, and as long as you utilize your devices, gadgets, and equipment under technology literacy. Media synchronization theory from the word sync. Okay. First, you convey the information or the data, and then you converge. Okay. There is the discussion, there is the exchange of information. Let's answer some questions for application of the three theories. Number one, instead of video chat, you invited your friends to come over and you all play poker. Answer is media naturalness and media synchronization. The moment you invite your friends to come over and you all play poker in the same space, same proximity, and you converse. Second, you use your smartphone to access your social media page such as Facebook and microblogs such as Twitter, Instagram, etc. This is the proper utilization of your media platform triggered by the internet. Therefore, there is media richness theory. Third, you attend symposium about sustainable development goals and participate in the discussion about its advocacy. Therefore, how many theories? First, you have media naturalness theory, 
and you also have media synchronization theory. The moment you participate, the moment you attend, same space, same proximity, and the moment you participate in the discussion, naturalness and synchronization. Number four, you browse the classified ads of Philippine Daily Inquirer to look for a job. There is media literacy, therefore there is media richness theory. Number five, you use your laptop in watching movies aside from creating a PowerPoint. There is technology literacy by properly utilizing your laptop. Therefore, there is media richness theory. Number six, you prefer going out with your friends to have a face-to-face -face conversation than video chat. Answer is media naturalness theory. Number seven, you use your radio AM station to be aware of current events. Proper utilization of broadcast, specifically radio, exhibit media richness theory. Instead of calling 911, you went to the police station and report a crime, but the officer didn't do anything to help you. Still, you have your Shannon Weaver and this exhibit face-to-face -face encounter. Hence, there's no feedback, but still, it is tagged under media naturalness theory because you are on the same proximity, same space. Number nine, you report a page in social media about nudity and get a feedback after three hours. First, you have media richness theory because you properly utilize your social media platform and you receive a feedback after three hours. There is synchronization. Last but not the least, you interview President Duterte about federalism and President Duterte didn't comment. Still, you are on the same proximity, same space. Therefore, there is media naturalness theory. So to sum it up, the three types of media such as print broadcast media, the three types of media were presented for us to properly utilize media literacy. Theories on media and information, there are three. You have media naturalness theory. There is a face-to-face -face interaction or face-to-face -face conversation. Face-to-face -face interaction is your Shannon Weaver. Hence, the feedback is wrong. Face-to-face -face conversation, you have your SMCR because the sender and the receiver has the four key elements under David Burlow. Second is media richness theory as long as you exhibit media literacy and technology literacy. Under synchronization theory, you have your Shannon Weaver and David Burlow. So that's it for lesson four. I hope you learned a lot.